Hello friends, in the last session we have seen uh, by adding the model federation to all the apps. Now we want to see what are the changes those are added to the files basically. So if we can see it has added main.ts file. So you can see there is a bootstrap file imported here. So earlier whatever code was there in this file it moved to this bootstrap.js file. Now the another file they have added is bootstrap.ts this file having the same code basically which was there in the main.ts if i go to bootstrap.ts is the same code if you can create any new angular application you will be able to see the main.ts file will have exactly the same code to bootstrap the app model basically and after that you know there are two these two files which are responsible for webpack configuration so that you know either we expose or we import uh, the remote files those configuration we do into the this web app configuration okay so uh, first uh, we'll configure the web app webpack for products app uh, then i uh, will configure a webpack for host app and will display products app from the host app so this is the agenda uh, so before this uh, you know i have just executed all these uh, apps basically the host app cards app products app and the orders app so if i go here the hopes uh, host app is running if i go to products products app is running if i go to cards cards app is running if i go to orders orders app is running now what i'll do the first thing that i'll do i'll just configure the products app okay so to start with the product app first uh, we'll uh, create one products model inside this products app so model so ng for angular generate model products we want route products we want to register this with model app dot module and for which project we are doing that is for products app will enter now if you can see it has created all the product module product components product.ts uh, and the routing uh, file as well so if i go to src app it has added the folder called products inside that products all these files are there we don't need the css will so probably we'll delete this now again we'll go to a spec we don't need and we'll delete this go to this file product works let it be as is related to yes we don't need this css okay if i go to product routing it has the products component that's good products model and if i go to routing it has added the products as a lazy loading hope you all know the lazy loading and all if you don't know you can put in comment probably i'll take one session on lazy loading as well so this is how you know we have configured i will start the products app now the products app is running i'll go to ui if i go to products the product works so our lazy loading model is also working product so i'll go to boots watch i'll go again here i'll um, probably i'll what i'll do i'll take this part okay I'll copy come here I go to products component I'll put it here put here product I'll save this it's running so I'll go to products app but CSS is simply not working so it might happen with you as well this CSS might not work so in that case what you can do you can go to your angular.json file where you can check for your uh, styles okay so you can take it from here and for now what i'm doing i will tell you the correct way how to do it but for now i'm just going to style.css starting import and i'm just putting now if i go to ui see it's working now 
what I'll do, I'll take one more basically and that is probably this card I'll take I'll go to HTML save it go to UI products up, now it looks good it, it probably it's you know takes we need some margin it's just putting so we will put m2 that is margin 2 and to this as well we will put m2 it's margin now it looks okay now we will do the required configuration webpack configuration so for now we will not consider all this because it makes doesn't make sense this is too much of code so I tell do probably I'll take a copy of this. Okay, I go to the main file and I don't need this. So I'll remove this. I don't need this. I'll remove this. Even I'll remove everything. Required const we need share all and with model protection plugin model dot exports with model federation plugin then open have to give a name what is the name the name is products what it exposes basically we will expose a module and will provide a path to this module projects products app src app we have to go to products and then products dot module dot ts this is what we gonna expose and we'll add some shared this is a spread operator which will take a share all singleton will put as a true strict version will put as a true required version is a auto and that's it we are done with this so we have to restart this app it's running let's see whether it's that is working and yeah it seems everything is working fine now we'll configure the host app to consume the products app so we'll move on to the host app again webpack.config what I'll do I'll just make a because this is too much of code here we don't need all of this so I'll take a copy of this probably and I'll just delete everything and I'll go to the products app and whatever we have done here I'll just copy that part so that you know we can save some time here so I'll just take this I'll go to this webpack and I'll paste here we don't need this name here because this is a it's gonna consume it instead of exposes we need now remotes which remotes we need remotes for products it should be HTTP localhost colon 3000 remote entry dot and that's it so so we'll discuss here from where this remote entry dot js file came and all for, so for now it, it looks good now we'll go to host app, src app and the 
hyper routing module and we'll add one route here path products load children import products slash module then product model because that is what we have exposed now to resolve this error what we have to do first we'll save this file we'll go on src we'll create new file called types dot d dot ts these are the declarations basically so we'll declare here module products as module you can declare and now if you can go here now it works fine now we'll move on to app component.html file this is what the existing code which we have seen we'll remove this button because we don't need the title and the host app that is fine and we'll add one router link class we'll add button button primary and we'll add router link slash products which path we have given just in the <coughs> lazy loading we'll close and we'll put here products we'll save this go to the host app we'll start the host app again as it executed successfully and it started basically we can go to ui go to host app if i reload this click on the products nothing works we'll inspect if we get any errors we cannot get property and file. so we'll see what is the issue here router link slash products then i'll go to here path is products load children import products module looks like it's products module we'll save go to ui now if you can you can see here this app is getting loaded here and another anchor link will create probably we'll copy the another one we'll paste it here and we'll remove this and just put home or the host app basically so if you can see there are two now if i click on home this is just a host app basically this is under a host app itself and if i click on products it will loads the product app which is uh, basically running on some another uh, url so if you can see the product app is running here but it's loading under the hood of host app basically so this is how we have just configured the uh, host with products app so we'll see so these are the commands basically we have created one you know products module we have imported the bootstrap because it was not working in next lecture we'll add header to the host app also we'll see why the uh, styles are not working in the host app and we'll configure the webpack for you for rest all apps and we'll try to consume inside host app so now if you can see here we have configured the products app the product inside the products app we have added the products module in products module we have added just the some html which we have just copied from the boots watch this is the routing and once we have this products model we have exposed this product model using this webpack see here i have just added minimal code just exposed this model that is a products model with the name products and i have just consumed this model basically inside host app if i go to the host app if i go to the webpack if you can see here in the remotes because my remote entry 
is running on uh, this uh, uh, 3000 right so i just put 3000 remote entry so you might uh, get confused why this remote entry and all so if i can go here on the host app if i inspect this app okay and i go to the network if i reload this app if you can see here there is a file called remote entry okay so this is this is the file which we have exposed through uh, this app okay which we are consuming under the uh, host app so we'll see for rest all apps in the upcoming uh, lectures even we'll see how we can communicate between one micro front end to another micro front end okay uh, also we'll uh, see like you know uh, what are the ways through which we can achieve the micro front ends probably we'll cover uh, you know few of them uh, the one is like model federation there are another one popular is like single spa so we'll uh, cover you know few of them Th thank you everyone yeah